Basically, longboarding is a form of downhill skating that's designed to mimic the turns that you'd make on a snowboard or a surfboard. Glade Travers, I'm 21 years old and I'm a professional longboarder. Hi, I'm um, Hugh Statton and I'm uh, 22 years of age and I'm a professional longboarder. It came out of surfing about the 60 or 70 odds and, um, and they made their own kind of skateboards out of wood and stuff. One's a lot longer uh, than your average board really and uh, it's, it's not just one width the whole way, it's like a pintail, uh, it's small streamlined. The trucks are quite far apart so you've got kind of long turns built for speed really. Well my board was about huge length but then um, in a skating accident one day I um, actually snapped well, it. I just snapped it again? I fell on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See the wheels here, they're, they're quite rubbery, they're gripped to the road a lot more. They, um, they, they, give you, they give you a bit more speed to push out of, like you're pumping down the, down the hill. So, so when you come into the turn, you kind of sink into it and then push out. The bushings of the board are these um, little rubbery bits in here and they tend to be a little bit harder than on um, your ordinary tube yeah. decks, because um, when you're going Going fast down a hill, you don't want to get the death wobbles. That sense of adrenaline you get, you get this amazing kind of sense of freedom in yourself because while you're shooting down a hill at 50, 60 k's an hour, you're, all, you're, all of the worries of the world um, just are immediately lifted off your shoulders, and all there is is really you on the board and the wind in your face, and it's just this amazing sense of freedom. The great, the great benefits of longboarding really is the, the sense of community that you get from, from everyone really that you meet and you, you really get, um, you get a good vibe and it makes you really want to push the sport. It's travel the world. Um, we've been over to um, Santa Cruz where the, um, the sport kind of took off as big like surf culture over there. We've been to Colorado, uh, Swiss Alps in summer. You know, We've travelled the world with it and we wouldn't have got to see those places if we hadn't got into longboard. It's a much loved sport, but it's more of a hobby and now we're just trying to push it into, into professionalism. Into professionalism and that's exactly where it's going. It's quite mentally challenging at times, it's quite scary. Um, you do get your fair share of stacks. Oh um, yeah. But um, it's all part of the part of the learning <laughs> process and it's all part of the fun. It's you you'll be hooked. To anyone else out there, you know, that wants to do one morning, fucking give it a go. It's great. No other sport gives me that sense of freedom and self expression that longboarding does. I love it. Everyone has their own art, their own hobby, their own something. This is my art. Yeah, this is what we do, and no one's going to change that.